It has been decided. 12s, they're bringing the trophy home. Your Seahawks, Super Bowl 48 champions. The pictures tell a story of a man and family full of love and success. But every story is not without struggle. Long before Seahawks executive vice president and general manager John Schneider constructed the youngest Super Bowl championship team in NFL history, he and his wife Tracy faced a life-changing diagnosis that made them question everything, including his career. We had some very, very hard conversations about, do I get a different job? Do I go down a different career path? I can spend more time with the house. We always talk about it now, if we made it through, those early years were, were good to go. In January of 2005, when John was working as a personnel analyst for the Green Bay Packers, he and Tracy received the devastating news. Their firstborn son, Ben, had been diagnosed with autism. What do you remember about that day? It was hard. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was hard. It was, uh, uh, especially as a father, you know, for a son, you have these aspirations of, uh, you know, quarterback or golfer or whatever and and uh, who knows it still may happen but at the time it just kind of rocks your world and we started questioning if there was something wrong with Ben when he was about 14 to 16 months old he wasn't really paying attention he wasn't pointing to things he wasn't waving and then he wasn't trying to speak to us at all he'd have meltdowns he'd have tantrums what was the lowest point Jack, our youngest, was an infant, and um, probably the hardest thing was trying to take care of an infant, and, you know, you're at home alone, um, and, and knowing he's, Ben was in a meltdown or a tantrum, and just not being able to be two separate people. Little by little, John and Tracy built a championship team at home. Unconditional love, combined with years of intensive therapy and social groups, led to an improvement in Ben's condition. You know, there was a time, a long time, where, you know, we would put Ben to bed and, uh, you know, we'd never, ever know if he was going to say goodnight back, to have him say back, like, hey, Good night, Ben. You know. Good night, Mom. As Ben made positive strides in his journey with autism, John's career flourished. We're very pleased to be here today with the announcement of John Schneider as our new general manager. <laughs> Those years of tireless effort and disciplined patience laid the foundation for John and Tracy's mission. So we got all these Ben bucks. Each, each one of these is 12 dollars. This is big. This is huge. All for autism. Through four years, the Schneider's primetime celebrity waiter dinner has raised over 1.4 million dollars, with 100% of its proceeds going towards Ben's fund. I'm not sure if some families might not have the money to afford a, to afford checking of kids at autism. And it helps people raise money for to help their kids with autism. The way he views things is incredible, you know, and, and I think about, okay, how do we help these kids accentuate their strengths? How can we help these families compensate for their deficiencies, you know, and, and just keep pushing the pedal forward. 